For more content like this, visit the Robotics Machine Learning Community through the link in the description. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Trossin Robotics. I'm Shantanu and today I'm thrilled to announce the Aloha 2.0 update. With the Aloha 2.0, it's easier than ever to manage multiple robot configurations and customize your setup for your specific project needs. Let's dive into the new exciting features and how you can get started. Aloha 2.0 introduces major upgrades including support for multiple robot configurations so that you can easily switch between Aloha mobile, stationary and solo setups within the same package. Customizable YAML configurations that allow you to design your own Aloha setup, whether it's single camera and one leader follower pair or multi-camera, multi-arm configuration. Let's start by looking into how easy it is to set up your robots using the Aloha 2.0. All robot configurations are saved as YAML files in the config slash robot directory. Each setup, Aloha mobile, stationary and solo comes with a dummy configuration file to get you started. For most standard setups, all you need to do is update the camera serial numbers. Use the interval sense viewer to get the serial numbers and then update the YAML file accordingly. Detailed steps for this process are covered in another video linked in the description. Tasks are configured in the task config YAML file. This file allows you to define task names, dataset directories for storing recorded episodes and episode length. Once your configurations are ready, bringing up your Aloha setup is simple. Use the launch script with the robot argument to specify your setup whether Aloha mobile, stationary, or solo. For example, to bring up the solo setup, run the following command. ROS2 launch Aloha, Aloha bring up dot launch dot pi, robot equals Aloha solo. Don't forget to pass the gravity compensation flag if you want to enable this feature. This is especially useful for Aloha Solo, which relies on software-based gravity compensation for smoother operation. Now let's explore the core scripts in the Aloha 2.0 package. These scripts have been made modular to handle different robot setups. Run the teleoperation script to control your robots interactively. For Aloha Solo, use this command, python3 teleop.py minus r Aloha Solo minus g. Gravity compensation can be toggled with the minus g flag for smoother operations during teleoperation. Before shutting down, always remember to put your arms to sleep configuration to avoid sudden collapse. Use the sleep script with the minus A flag to ensure all arms are safely parked. To record episodes, use the record script. For example, to record episodes for Aloha Mobile, use Python 3 record episodes.py, task name Aloha Mobile Dummy, robot Aloha Mobile minus G. You can also use the order record script to collect multiple episodes consecutively without manual intervention. If you wish to replay an episode, use the following command. Python 3 replay episode, robot name, dataset directory, and episode index. This will allow you to verify the recorded episode by replaying it with the robot. The best part about Aloha 2.0 is the flexibility. You can easily modify and configure your own robot setups using YAML files. Need a multi-camera setup or perhaps just a single follower leader pair. It's all possible using the Aloha 2.0. That's Aloha 2.0 in a nutshell. Powerful, flexible, and designed to simplify your robotic workflows. Check out the documentation for more detailed instructions. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates and tutorials. See you next time. For more content like this, visit the Robotics Machine Learning Community through the link in the description. Trust in Robotics, helping innovators innovate.